and welcome to your Go Market update for Monday the 29th of August. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst of Go Markets here. Let's have a look at what's coming across the news today. And of course, markets were dominated on Friday by a very aggressive Jerome Powell speaking at the Jackson Hole Symposium and sent US markets sharply downwards. The short speech he gave, which only lasted around about 20 minutes, emphasised the concept of maintaining a very restrictive policy stance for some time, dashing any market hopes of a pause in the near term of interest rate rises, despite a possible inflation pause, and some would suggest even a possible move downwards. US futures are suggesting a continued sell-off in the Asian session with all futures down in excess of 1%, and Asian indices are obviously following that weaker US lead. ASX is down around 2%, as are most of the Asian markets in early trading. European futures, not surprisingly, suggesting a negative open, as we got a continued sell-off even after European markets closed on Friday. US dollar index, not surprisingly, broke that 20-year high we were discussing last week, and gold has broken a short-term range to the downside. Subsequently, below the 1730 level, looks as though it could be on to test 1700 in the near term. Oil has moved back to $100, just pulling back from one or two on the Brent crude CFD contract. And copper, after testing 370 resistance, dropped significantly on Friday and moved down to 360 support. VIX has broken that key 25 level that, again, we were discussing last week, has been critical and has moved through the 200 MA, suggesting, of course, uh, this market unhappiness with what the Fed said. Cryptos have also come under massive pressure. Bitcoin has gapped below the important 20,000 level in this morning's trading and looks pretty bearish. And despite Australian retail sales slightly warmer than expected, which, generally speaking, would be good news, we're seeing little response to that where other market issues are predominating. It is a quieter day to day today, but we ramp up later in the week. Of course, we are moving into the first week of September. And so US jobs are the highlight of the week. Let's just have a look at a couple of charts caught our eye this morning. I will start in the FX market. We're looking at the Euro Aussie daily. You can see an engulfing bullish candle after this significant down move on Thursday and um, seen some follow through here in Asia. If you look at the four hourly chart just for a bit more detail, you can see it in all its glory there. So in terms of the hourly chart and, and where the opportunity may lie, possibly waiting for a move over that 145 level. And if we should get that, then possibly uh, a move up around about 65 to 70 pips is on the cards technically. Little to shout about of any positivity in the ASX, uh, but there was one bright light, which was A2 Milk. You can see there, post earnings report, we've seen a move through a key level at 5.10 and over the 200 EMA, which is sitting just above that. And look on course, possibly to move up to around about 5.60. Uh, from where we are now, uh, that's a reasonably healthy four and three quarter percent rise. At that stage, we think we might pause, but markets being as they are right now, it is a high risk environment. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.